I'm a graphic designer here at Chorley Designs in the marketing group. Um, I primarily work in our print advertising, web advertising, and all of our catalogs. It's kind of always been my mission to combine my two passions together, my passion for art and design and my passion for motorcycling. I had sat on the GS before at one of the IMS shows or one of the trade shows and you know right away I was like this would never work you know and I kind of gave up on it but I just so happened to be in a BMW dealership one day and I noticed the bikes had these little stickers these tags on them that saying you know ask us how we can lower this for you and I I was really surprised I didn't even know that was an option so the two options you had were to have a lowered seat and that's kind of the first step in lowering the bike to have a better seat height dimension. Then you can also do a lowered suspension. So a lower suspension combined with a lower seat gave you that couple of inches you would need to make this bike rideable for a shorter person like myself. I would say the great thing about these bikes is, is that they are so versatile in what they can do for you as a rider. I mean, you know, the, the biggest selling point is yes, you can go on those big adventures that you've always wanted to do. You can go off-road. But even beyond that, as a daily commuter, this, this bike has it all as well. It has all the future comforts you would want, you know, to and from work. The R1200 GS models feature various seat configurations. The low, standard, and high seats are all height adjustable so the rider can enjoy a more comfortable knee angle. A slimline rally seat has a higher riding position and is harder, which is more suited for off-road riding. Uh, or five foot four of me uh, is not very tall, so of course then ride height was very important. With the bigger CC bikes, it's usually quite a problem. So I spoke with the salesperson there and uh, we organized to have the, the low suspension setting and the low seat, uh, and that fits perfectly for me without affecting the geometry of the bike. The F700GS models offer multiple seating options. High standard and low height seats are available as well as a black and gray rally seat, which is harder and perfect for off-road riding. Also offered is a black and anthracite comfort seat that's broader and more comfortably padded. My wife, she's um, just over 5'6", and she's able to put her low seat uh, on there, and it, it fits her. It's very comfortable. It's not a, um, she's not sacrificing anything to have that seat. Uh, I hop on that bike, I put my seat on there, and again, being you know, over 6'2", uh, totally different bike, just for me. So uh, being able to change the height of, of that seat is uh, a world of difference on that bike. The K1600 models offer multiple unique seating options to perfectly cover individual ergonomic needs. One-piece high, standard, and low seats are available, as well as a seat which caters to larger riders. Uh, being able to test the bike, I, I was able to do all the different configurations of what's available. and I went with the low seat just because for convenience of parking and, and moving the bike around. I think the 650 GT is a little bit easier for a passenger because it's quieter, the platform for the seat's bigger, the foot platforms are also a little bit bigger, so I think it's a little bit more comfortable and less intimidating for the passenger. The C600 models have both a standard seat option as well as a lower seat, which makes it easier for the rider to stand and balance the scooter when stationary. BMW offers a variety of options to custom fit your BMW motorcycle to your needs, including a large selection of optional seats, lowered suspension options on select models, and adjustable seat mounting systems to raise or lower your seat in minutes. Visit your local BMW dealership for more details.